Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. We're gonna do a 50 hour update and review on the Toro Grand Sand Multiforce. Let's check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, well if you're new here, my channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. We do that with product reviews, how to's, daily vlogs, so much more and sometimes we review lawnmowers and equipment. Now, here's the one thing I'll say, stay tuned to this video, watch it the whole way through because I'm going to tell you guys the straight up truth by the time we're done about what I think about this mower, alright? A couple things I like, a couple things I don't like and to be totally honest with you, some shocking things that I have to admit that maybe I didn't put in the very first video that I did on the review of this mower about about three years ago. All right, so here's the deal. This is a 2021 Toro Grandstand Multiforce. And just to do a little uh, fact check, we've got 58 hours on the unit, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can see this right here, 57.2. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, this mower was provided to us from Toro earlier in the spring to showcase and share with you guys on the YouTube channel. Now, if you know the story in 2017, I got a demo of a Toro Grandstand uh, regular unit, not the multi-force unit, and I was not impressed with the mower at all. I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys and throw that out there. Uh, I thought the mower was underpowered. I thought the front caster wheels were small. I thought it wasn't a very good mower, just straight up. Toro reached out about eh, a couple years later, i.e. about nine months ago, maybe a year ago now, and they said, hey, we want to send you a unit to, you know, just have a little... Uh, what do you call it? A, a redemption opportunity? And I said, no, <laughs> to be totally honest with you guys, to be totally honest with you guys, I said no, because I have no room. And I know you guys might be like, well, send them over to me. Hey, I get it. Grow a big YouTube channel and they'll do that for you too. I promise. But here's the deal. I said, no, I didn't have any room. Reluctantly, I said yes. After they said, hey, we'll send you a couple other attachments. There's no strings attached. You don't have to say anything for us ever. Just use the unit. Tell us what you think. I have no obligations to Toro. I'm not getting paid by Toro. I mean, if they want to send a check, I'll take it, but you guys know what I'm saying. All right, so here's the deal. I reluctantly said yes, and we've been rocking this thing now. We've had the mulch force on it. We've had the bagger on it. And then in the last two to three weeks, we've been mowing with it. So we went from 20 hours to 30 hours on the unit just in the last two weeks, putting it through some of the thickest, wettest, gnarliest grass, okay? Two weeks ago, we got a complete rain out, and we didn't uh, get a chance to mow. And so we've been mowing four to five inch tall grass this whole week, just putting this mower through its paces, all right? Things I do like, the Turbo Force deck is crushing it, okay? We have the adjustable baffles, sunlight, uh, if you're doing leaf cleanup, and then also wet grass. We've le been leaving the baffles wide open on uh, level C or letter C. And you guys can see this plate right here normally can close up and down. This 12, 13, 15 inches, whatever this is, absolutely great at shooting grass out, discharging grass. I absolutely love it. Guys, for real, this is my property. I just got done mowing it. This stuff was five inches tall, man. It was it was brutal. No clumping. Just over there comes some thick spots. No clumping for the most part for the whole field. For real. Uh, one pass, no double cuts, okay? Uh, things I don't like really quick. Well, I'm just gonna go around and when I see it, I'll call it out. Uh, the gas tank, it's clear, like it's see-through. You can kind of see where your level is on sunny days. But for example, it's a cloudy day right now. I have no idea what the fuel uh, tank is that you can kind of see like a, a faint dark line but if it's full or or if it's really empty you don't have that distinction line i wish was, this was either more clear or they had like a a cutout with like a plastic window so you could see your level of your fuel tank or hey we got every other button on the planet up here at a fuel gauge for an extra 200 bucks okay other things i like with the multi-force unit you guys can see we've got all these emergency lights here i'll start it up really quick so you can see these in action it is this switch if i'm not mistaken so this is really nice if you guys are mowing in the fall, you guys are mowing early in the spring, obviously using this unit for winter with snow plowing. Overall, the engine, or not the engine, but the controls, I'm happy with. Um, I haven't really had any issues with, you know, where buttons are at or where the throttle is at. One thing is that my finger sometimes gets uh, pinched into here. You know, when I'm mowing, I'm doing this deal, so sometimes my finger gets pinched, and then you go around a, a turn or a curve, well, your finger's kind of jammed in there. I don't know, maybe you guys can relate, maybe you guys can't. It's a little thing, but it's not a make it or break it, obviously. Um, the engine, we have a coal around here. It's been working great. Very rarely has bogged down for mulch, cleanups, or mowing wet grass. I think it's 26, 7, 8 horsepower, maybe. Uh, it's been working out just fine. 
All right, uh, we also added on our unit, you guys saw a couple of videos if they already posted or they'll post in, uh, in the next day or two. Now, I know there is a lot of shoe blockers out there, but long story short, add one to your mower. They'll change the game for you with not getting grass clippings in the beds. You guys can see that this is pretty flush with the deck, okay? So, it doesn't really stick out down below or out back. It has been a game changer for mulching up leaves and mulching up wet grass. All right, I know I'm coming at you guys quick. We'll keep going here for another uh, hot second, but do you guys run the Toro Grand Sand Multiforce? Have you guys demoed one? Have you guys ran them in the past? Do you run them right now? If so, leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about what you think about the Toro Grand Sand Multiforce. When I first had the demo a couple years ago, we put about five to 10 hours on it in a week. Like I said, I was not impressed. I just didn't think it cut very well, like I said. I thought it was a little underpowered. I don't know if they changed much on this or it's just a different unit or if it's a multi-force unit and it just cuts a little bit better. But whatever they did in the last three years to improve this machine, they've been knocking it out of the park. Cut quality, as you guys can see right here, you got 1.5 inches to five inches. We've been mowing most of our stuff at three to three and a quarter, uh, sometimes three and a half on the taller backyards that you know maybe have some thicker lush lawns. People like keeping it tall. Uh, but overall, this handle, it's not great, it's not bad. I think it's a pretty uh, heavy system. One thing I'd like to see is maybe some of these standards have like beefier springs or even two springs to make it easier. I mean, you got about 100, 150 pounds you're ratcheting back, whatever the deck weighs. And uh, it's not bad for a guy that's 175 pounds necessarily, but you put somebody that's a little bit smaller or a lady on there, it might be a little bit harder, all right? The rear tires, don't quote me, looks like we got a good 10, 12 inch tire. They're actually pretty uh, knobby. They've been holding hills great. Haven't had any issues with them as well. One of the thicker, wider tires, I would say, on some of the standards out there. Another thing is this platform. It can flip up. We haven't really done too much with it, uh, but if you do want to walk the unit, maybe you do have a hill, hey, you're good to go there. And then you get this little black knob that releases it. Let's say you want to put two or three of these on a trailer or turn it sideways on a trailer. A lot easier to do that. All right, guys. Well, this is just a quick little walkthrough. I'll keep you guys posted as we... Oh, there goes my neighbor. I'll keep you guys posted as we change the oil. You know, I'm sure in a couple hundred hours, we'll go through a deck belt, maybe some hydro belts, and uh, keep you guys posted as things continue. And of course, we're going to be uh, attaching the leaf blower or the snow blower or in the snow blade, the different accessories that we have access to and that we do get uh, sent to us and provided to us from Toro. So stay tuned for those videos. Overall guys, I gotta be honest with you, I am a lot more impressed than my demo that I had a couple years ago. And I'll tell you what, I owe Toro a big apology, okay? Hey, if I'm wrong, I'll be the first to admit it. I got it all wrong, okay? So here's what I'm gonna say. Consider checking out the Toro Grandstand Multiforce. It's actually a pretty dope mower. Rob and I both enjoyed using it, and maybe you guys might like it as well if you guys are in the market for a new Toro mower, all right? Guys, that's what I have for you on today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, big thumbs up. Super appreciate it. Love to hear your comments down below. What do you guys think about the Toro Grandstand Multiforce? Guys, that's what I got for you today. We'll look forward to catching up with you on the next one.